What's going on y'all? We are getting ready to go out and go sheep's head fishing, but before I do that, I want to show y'all the easiest way to find the best bait to catch sheep's head. A few things you're going to need for this is something to put your crabs in. I prefer a cricket cage. These work really, really well at keeping your crabs. Uh, and then some gloves. We're going to be flipping a lot of rocks. Sometimes there's stuff under those rocks and it just protects your hands, whatever. So gloves, cricket cage. All right, the area you want to look for to find these crabs is going to be areas with rocks like this that are kind of easy to lift up, a lot of smaller rocks. But I want to make sure I have some uh, wet mud or sand underneath it, right? They're not going to be a whole lot of crabs hanging around um, sandy or grassy areas. The crabs we're going to be looking for are mud crabs, and typically they're hanging around under these rocks in the mud. So we're just gonna start flipping some rocks, see if we can find some crabs. There's one right there. Well, that right there is our first mud crab. Only flipped a couple of rocks, already got us some bait. Oh, oh, mother load. Ah, dang it, I didn't get any of them. There we go. All right, crab number four. There's one just sitting there, two of them. Oh, that was a good one right there. All right, so we just picked up about a half a dozen mud crabs. If I kept digging around, we would find some more mud crabs, but showed y'all how to find these mud crabs. Now let's head over to another area and I will show y'all how to find fiddler crabs. All right, we're heading out here. We're looking for fiddler crabs, which fiddler crabs are mainly going to be hanging around in your grass, close to your water line. But if you're walking through this grass and you happen to see things like these boards right here, you pick this up, could be a snake could be a bunch of crabs let's see crabs bunch of them there's one i mean there's a whole herd of crabs right here that's a big one right there two i mean this is like the mother load when you find riffraff in this grass like this bunch of small ones but there's going to be some good ones in there too it's a decent one right there another one trying to hide for me from me so we've already picked up more crabs off of this board than we did flipping all those rocks but look we got another board here and some sort of driftwood right there so and then there's a stole of something over there i don't know what that is all right let's go give me the crabs not as many on that one. A couple of small ones. Not gonna grow through grabbing any of those. They're real small. Kick around some of these leaves, maybe. Uncover some bigger ones. All right, well, I guess they were all hanging under that piece of wood. Driftwood, don't fail me. Boom, oh my God. Biggins. I'm talking about juicy crabs. <sighs> Where'd they go? There was a bunch of big ones there. That was the mother load. Once again, these are not fiddlers. We're still messing around with mud crabs. There's a good one. all right well there we go so got a bunch of crab off of that structure right there we're gonna keep on easing down through here and uh yeah we'll find some more i'm sure another good <clears throat> see oh that was a bird look there's snakes out here y'all <laughs> that scared the crap out of me <laughs> we got another piece of driftwood right here a couple of small crabs that's a good one. Oh, he got away from me Oh, that one ain't getting away though. Boom, got him. All right, a couple more pieces. Just laying around here. Wouldn't expect to find anything hanging out in the sand like that. 
maybe this one might have something on it nah that's over sand right there's no moisture under that it's all sand it's grass and stuff holds a lot of moisture that's where those crabs are going to be found us another nice board a bunch of crabs a bunch of small ones that's a good one that's a good one it's another decent one running from me over there good piece of driftwood sitting right here Let's see what we got under this one nothing ooh, ooh. look what we done found a piece of plywood and another board okay a lot of grass under that one let's see about this one Yep, a bunch of them. Come here. That's a good one. He didn't even try to run. That's a little one there. That's a good one. That's a big one there. It's another good piece of wood. Nothing under that one. So typically, if you're sitting here walking, got my water line right here, got a lot of grass. This shorter grass right here, that's where you're gonna find your fiddler crabs. And most of the time, I mean, they're in huge schools. They're not one or two. When you find them, they're just all over the place. A lot of times you'll hear them moving in the grass and whatnot. You'll see them on the edge. I guess it's a little too cold for them right now, or maybe or just got the water lines a little too high up. I'm not real sure. Not seeing any fiddler crabs. They, you will not find any fiddler crabs on your really, really cold days. Today, it's gonna be 60, 70 degrees. It was a good opportunity to come out, try to find some fiddler crabs. Not seeing any, but we do have a ton of mud crabs right there. So, if y'all wanna see me put these guys in action, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, because we're about to go put these dudes in the water catch us some sheep's head hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time